Hi everyone, welcome to our podcast. I go by the name Millicent. Na hapa niko na Odiero Jamjengo, Mr. Do the do before the do does. On my other side niko na Tony hapa. Na tuko hapa to talk about things that have happened. Mm. Because kumekuwa na vitu mingi zime happen. Hata najua mumeziona. CUS, mm, Kenya hapa, tumekuwa na impeachment, there's mm. some things going on about hizi machachi kufungwa, kelele and everything. So, wacha tuanze na mazingira. Okay. Yeah, what Because what yesterday was, was a mazingira day. Okay, watu walipanda miti. Ilikuwa siku ya kupanda miti. Uh, sasa miti, watu walipanda miti. <laughs> miti kadhali na kadhalika. Yeah. Kupanda yeah. miti ni mingi. Yeah. Sasa tuseme ni mazingira. We have, we have the, the, the different style of bonding. Of bonding. Jamjengo, uli attend? Uli yeah. panda miti ngapi? Eh, nalingana na miti, miti gani? <laughs> <laughs> It's about environment. Oh, environment yeah. ya kawaida. Yeah. Yeah. Eh, mimi kusema kweli mimi si kupanda juu. Hii mm. Nairobi unadaa kupanda kwa jamba ya nani? Balcony. Balcony. <laughs> <laughs> Na niliona like yeah. vile walitoa kwa Moy Day to Mazingira Days. What are your oh. thoughts on it? Because mm. me yeah. nili find it out as if it was not that presentable ni kama kuna holiday oh, tulikuwa tumezoea hata hata ingekuwa happy confusion cuz tulikuwa tumezoea <laughs> ile ya <laughs> ya <laughs> moi day yeah. before that walikuwa na kama flag so ulikuwa yeah. ngo kitembea na jambo ile kesho kuna holiday but this one it was so confusing sasa walitoa moi kwa calendar walitoa moi umeona moi ni old school sasa wana ya digital digital news na mbona ile ikuja ikaitwa mazinga happy mazingira day That's what I want to find out from you guys. environment. Na hiyo siku ndio wanapata wengine pia wanapiga makaa. Sasa wale wanachoma makaa. Na si wange itengenezea wange itengea siku yake. Badala ya kuki moi na mimi. Wange itengenezea siku yake. Lakini hapo badala ya kuriplace rais moi na kiti we na miti wangeacha tu moi yakuwe moi. Exactly. Hey, president kwesi no ya. Ilikuwa ilikuwa badala ilikuwa na pamba. Hiyo yeah. hiyo wakati ilikuwa na pamba. Moi ukisikia tu moi ni kwa sababu acha tu ate use moyo anakuja tu mtaani mm-hmm. eh unasikia tawala Kenya ah tawala yes. exactly. watoto watu wametoka shuleni mnaenda mna dancea moyo mm-hmm. yani ilikuwa ina bamba ilikuwa true story eh moyo anapiga na tao moja tu yeah. alafu principal wenyewe anapotea na hiyo tao bwana siku hizi hata sioni kama president wa siku hizi wanapangiwa line kwa barabara Sisi exactly. tulikuwa tunapanga line from Kisumu mpaka sijui waka Unapata watu wametoka yeah. umetoka na watoto mnaenda tu hapo kwa barabara. Eh yeah, umepanga. Mume yeah. Siku hizi president anapita tu hata unaweza kupitana na yeye na forward hapo na ujui ni yeye. Amepanda forward. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Then again kuna uh, hii yenye imekama up mm. unaona kuna watu wanashughulika na history na kelele churches yeah. clubs. What's your thoughts on that? No is make us some money. Cuz na feel like mm. kuna zile clubs ziko kwa estate ya yeah. but tunajua oh yeah oh yeah pia zime employ watu there's a lot of Kenyans anaitwa Geoffrey yeah there's a lot of Kenyans when you ameandikwa hapo so unajua wakivutwa and then ina ingililia pia kwa makanisa mm. na kuna tatanishi so hapo. makanisa pia wapunguze wapunguze kwa yeah. injili mm. so kama walikuwa wanawaweka volume 80 waweke 40 Mm-hmm. Sasa unajua hiyo pia iko kwa environment oh. kama ujui. Oh. Ulikuwa unajua? Ah, iko kwa environment. <laughs> hiyo kelele iko kwa environment. Si chanue, bro. Yeah. Lakini hiyo kupunguza sauti ni juu kuna klabu zingine ziko kwa nini? Kwa kwa estate. Kwa estate. Yeah. Wengine wanaendanga job mchana unataka kutulia. Mm-hmm. Labda we hata hiyo pombe ukunywagi. Mm-hmm. Na bwana una nguka nayo the whole night kwa masikio <laughs> na ulali bwana. Anguka exactly. nayo. Anguka nayo. Anguka nayo. Alafu yeah. kuna ukienda kwa kijiji mm-hmm. kuna kuanga na sijui kama ushaiona unapata ama club iko juu na kanisa iko chini. Yeah. Iko chini. So unapitia kanisa ukienda. Eh na ni kama wana compete. 
Apart from that vile nyingine achacha hapo. Eh. Kanisa iko hapa, hapo eh. nyuma ni nyumba ya mtu. Na kopia na mtoto mdogo, eh. niliziona TikTok. And I was like, enye ina make sense. Our fight kweka is on speaker, they were very loud mm-hmm. and then kuna mtoto hapo. So watu wa walali. Hapo pia I know hapo na walikuwa sawa. Inafaa. Unajua ikiingia kwa club iko at least. Lakini hii mambo na kanisa, kanisa kukuwa pe na sauti kubwa sijui. Nishikana na manyumba. Eh na manyumba. Hapo alitije. Okay, na hebu nikuulize. Sasa hapa kwa mosque. Unajua next ni mosque. Uh-huh. Unafikiria waislamu wataichukulia aje? Oh, oh, oh. Jusai wanaenda kwa muskiti. Allah akbar. Yeah. Hmm. Hawataki wapi wapige kelele. Hapo ni ngori. Au pia wao wanatumianga ile kwanza wao wanatumianga kwanza auja auja ile ya old school. Nile ya. Sasa kama wanazangoa hiyo auja yao wameki ta speaker kwa nyumba itakuwa hisi. Lakini yao pia inakuanga two time moja si kila siku. Na siku hizi mapasta pia wanataka wana wana beat the the wana nini? Inaitwaje? wanajaza mfuko mm. sasa unapata kis, kila siku mtu anataka kuweka maombi kasi okay. siku hizi ni kila siku mande to mande eh akiona sande haiko mm-hmm. zadaka kuna bila yeye anaenda vizuri vizuri tena anasema wao usurika kesho tuende kushirika kushirika tena wednesday wednesday yeye pia ana kuna kitu anabita naona talent kuna kazi anaitana fashion worship team pia sasa ni sande to sande kelele kelele ati usirika 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 unavaa uende hata kama kesho ni friday sasa na hii sasa ya hurricane he may hit hard america Hey. Things are not looking good there. America. Are, yeah. Hurricane. Hurricane ni gani hiyo? Hurricane ile ile use ni bombe. Ike ni ni bombe. Si ni si bombe. Eh. Yeah. <laughs> Aujayona na vile inaenea mtandaoni oh, people are losing their homes kama yeah. storm and the storm 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 and the thunder storm 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 Yeah okay. <laughs> oh ile upepo ilikuwa inazunguka hivi. Yeah. Eh bwana tunafau shukuru Kenya ni ni Mungu naishi Kenya. Kitu kama hizo. Kitu kama hizo kama hizo. We are yeah. praying for yeah. them. Come on to America hapo and yeah. that no, thing has caught you. We are saying sorry and we are sending our prayers to you. Na unajua hizo vitu zina hapa and kwa super power. And we will we will send them some. Sasa yeah. hapa Kenya mali unalia obey ya unga hadi yeah, okay. inakuja kufanya nini? <laughs> Hapa tuna harike. Hapa harike ni. Hapa ni talking about ni. Hapa tuko na impeach ni impeach. Talking about impeachment. Impeachment. Hao watu wameamua tu kufinish kashagwa. What's your thoughts on that Odiero? Bana unajua watu wamekosa kazi. Na hiyo mimi thought yangu ni wabunge wabunge wetu mm-hmm. badala ya wengine waende watengeneze barabara mm-hmm. uliona hiyo parliament kama siku wanachukua ya kawaida hizi vitu serious yeah. hawakuji yeah. na siku ya impeachment kwanza vitu unapata kama siku yeah. ya kama hivi yeah. sasa wewe kama unapiganga mjengo bwana mfoma bwana chukuzanyika tu watu wa mkono ati wani nitoe kwa kazi ndeni kitu kingine mbaya the only na sasa una tena it's good is you wanachukua their energy when energy yao wanaweka tu kwa ile mtu mmoja tu yeah. mtu mmoja but tena sasa it's a high chance you to watch it in cause kama sasa una watu wana impichiwa there's a space for anyone oh, who can go hata mimi nilizaandika CV wale cha tumu eh mimi nilizaandika CV those CV yangu ni haivigi hata page mbili yako ni a professional mtu wa kupaka rangi ama ya mjengo alizinaenda kujaribu tu hiyo ndio by the way vijana wanavaa waje ume kama weza hii unafaa uzandike tu hata ikikata at least ile fake exactly yeah. mm-hmm. hata wewe unaweza toma tu kuwe deputy madam but i'm good here i'm happy here i'm right jezi yes, watanisalimia bro eh jezi watanisalimia kwa nini si unaenda unapewa kazi kama nini jezi wataki mwenye anaingia kwa serikali si unajua na dero kuna issue imekuwa hapa juzi kulikuwa wewe kama odero jam jengo na kumekuwa na issue ya wanaume wa jaluo hawataki mm. kwa wasichana wa jaluo oh, yes, so imeleta mambo mengi na imeleta tatanisho sana hapo hivyo kwa mtandao harusi ilifanywa kubwa harusi ilifanywa siji kama ilikuwa harusi ama ilikuwa rorasho so we call it in law aie so what's your thought on that mimi thought yangu mimi zinajua sisi tuko kwa group ya kamwizi tei 
Kama mvisite, unajua watu wana spend. Siku hizi wengine pia wanafanya tu watu waone tumefanya ruhusa. But in real life watu wapendani huko. How many times watu hapa nje wamefanya ruhusa na wana divorce? Na wana ajana, mnafanya ruhusa, mnaenda mnafanya ruhusa kubwa. Hata afadhali ufanye ruhusa kadogo mkae tu. My grandmother told me one thing. Grandmother yako hakufanya ruhusa bwana. Alikuambia. Sasa usiku wewe usinyamaze usikie kuna ale ni ambia nikifanya ruhusa ni nisitangaze eh nichukue mzee yangu nichukufanye ile traditional wedding kwa bush huko napo pia ni hiyo hiyo iko sawa that is this low lady yeye alienda ameolewa na mzungu because a lot of low lady sasa wewe alirudi akaheshimisha wajaluo azol those low lady alifanya traditional alifanya traditional na ilifanywa nyumbani which it was very very nice ikafunika ile ingine nilikwambia that's why my grandmother told me that so tufanye ile arusi ile ya kitambo arusi ya saa hizi as it makes sense na they don't they don't last Yeah. Yana ruzi ruzi ngine pia zinapatia tu watu pressure for the reason. Niliona hata dana dana alibiwa. Dana maro alibiwa hapo hivyo simu. Oh simu kwa hiyo. Na kasolo ya. It was allegation. Sasa unaelewa simu na ilikuwa ruzi ya mabazu. Wani walikuwa mabazu mabazu pia wanagonga wagodi. Yeye ni lishindwa. Rich people mtaonyesha mambo hapo nje. And thanks everyone for watching our podcast and tunawashukuru sana. Looking forward to come again with more we'll be, content we'll be, and we'll more story. influencers. Yeah. We'll be back soon. And that's it for today. Thank you very much and tunawakaribisha sana. Peace. Cheers for tomorrow. Cheers to me.